Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be making uh, a few birdhouses out of unusual items. Uh, so um, we're going to start with uh, by making some appliques with some stamps. And I'm just using different stamps and I'm stamping onto one ply from a napkin. So where uh, napkins have two to three plies, I'm just pulling off that one back ply and stamping onto the, that. And then I'll just be taking the scissors and cutting as close to the image as possible. And then we'll be decoupaging those on. Now, some of these birdhouses I will stamp directly onto uh, when they have a flat area, uh, but uh, when you don't have a good flat area, sometimes it's easier just to go ahead and either stamp on uh, gift tissue or stamp onto one ply of a napkin. And my, my preference is just one ply of a napkin because I feel like it, um, it lays better. And like I said, I'm just kind of stamping different stamps on. I'm not sure at this point which ones I'll be using, but if I don't use them on this project, I'll use uh, them later. And sometimes it's nice to do these up ahead anyway, so that when you're ready to do your item, you don't have to take the time to make these first. So sometime when you have just some extra time, you might want to just make a bunch of these up. And then, like I said, you'll have them at a later date. Okay, the first item that we're going to be um, using is this little watering can. And our watering, um, it's actually a glass watering pitcher. And... We're going to make a little bird's home in this, and I guess you would call this a bird house. It's uh, that big opening on top there will be uh, will be the front of the bird's house, and then they can just build their little nest inside that, and then we'll hang it from from the um, from the handle. Now, because this is glass, I'm going to start out by using a um, a uh, coat of uh, Dixie Belle uh, Slick Stick. And this is actually my very first time using this product and I was really happy with the results. I'm not sponsored by Dixie Belle. I just recently started carrying them in my store and so if I'm going to sell them I need to know what they do. So um, I decided on this one to, to try that Slick Stick and it really does work well to help the paint adhere to glass. So then I give this two coats of the, um, the color fluff also in the Dixie Belle. And then once this was dry and I, I missed that footage somehow, but I put one of my little appliques there just on the top of this. And then I decided to go back with some black uh, and this is the color caviar, also in the Dixie Belle. And I'm just going to paint just that spout, the black. And I'm just being very careful to get that line straight. And then I'm also going to paint the handle the same color. Now I tried to decide where might be a, a, another place to add an applique. And... Uh, Every time I tried to use one and held it up to it, I just, I didn't like the placement. So I decided to keep this one a little more simple. And uh, like I said, I'm just painting the, the spout black and the handle. And then, uh, and then once this is dry, I'll go back over this with a clear coat. Uh, I could have used a clear wax. Uh, but I just found it easier just to take it outside and spray it with a, a matte clear coat. And I use Rust-Oleum. Again, I'm not sponsored, but um, that's just what I use. And this black covered in one coat. So uh, once I put one coat and let it dry, then I was able to clear coat it. I had several thoughts on how to mount this to the wall. And uh, I ended up going with uh, just 
tying um, a uh, piece of cloth around the handle and hanging it on a little fence panel. But you could do that on the wall or even thought about uh, using some E6000 and uh, just gluing that bottom straight onto a board that would hang on the wall. And now for this second one, this is a little uh, wine box, I guess. And I see these all over the place at, flip, uh, at thrift stores. And um, I don't usually get them. I, I did have one in my store that I had painted and added some stamps to. And although I thought it was really pretty, I guess nobody really knew what to use it for. So I turned it into a birdhouse and... Uh, and it sold right away. So uh, I decided to uh, do one of these on a uh, video. And uh, so I'm just taking uh, a, two coats of this fluff paint. It's called, it's the color fluff in Dixie Belle. And I put two coats on this and uh, let it dry. And, uh, and then it'll be ready to add some of the stamps to. And this is, this is one that I'm just going to do my stamps directly onto the box because I have plenty of flat surfaces to do that. So I'm just inking up my stamps and I'm just using random stamps on this also. Uh, just some that look like they could go together. And, um, and then I'm just um, going to stamp directly onto this box. Now these box also, boxes also come in, uh, in uh, a larger size so that they hold two bottles. And then they have a divider down the middle. So in that case, you could make a, a birdhouse for two and just put two holes side by side. Or you could remove that divider because they usually just slide right out and make a larger birdhouse for a larger bird. And I thought what was really neat about using these for a birdhouse is you can just open up that top and, um, and use that as your clean out. Because I know a lot of birds won't build in a, in a birdhouse that doesn't have uh, a way of cleaning it out. And obviously, um, any of these birdhouses that you intend to use outside and not just to decorate inside, uh, then you'll need to give them a few coats of a clear coat so that it'll be sealed from the weather. Now this uh, was just a little box that almost looks like a purse. And my first plan was to look for a little straw purse that I could turn into a birdhouse. Uh, but I wasn't able to find that. And I did thrift this little box. Uh, so um, I thought it made a really cute birdhouse. And of the three, I think this one is definitely my favorite. And I was, uh, I had to use a little, even though there's some semi-flat surfaces here, I had to use my appliques that I made from the, um, from the tissue because, um, of this little basket weave. I, did, I was afraid that the stamps would skip too much trying to stamp onto this basket weave. And when you use this, uh, this ply from, one ply from the napkin, it kind of hugs down into all those little creases and you get really good coverage. Now I didn't mention that I do go back with uh, both of these last two items and uh, do some light distressing on them, uh, but um, here I was just able to find the stamps that I had made or the appliques that I had made and just uh, cut around them and you just kind of as close as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to kind of blend in because it's such a thin, um, thin paper once when you use just that one ply. But I really like to um, just take items and make birdhouses out of them. If you really look uh, and try to think outside the box, uh, I think you'll find several items that you could turn into a birdhouse. And I think the more unusual, the better I like them. 
And obviously, I forgot to mention that with both of these um, items, I did use a drill bit for a birdhouse hole and just, just drilled through it. And both were very easy to drill through. These would also be pretty with some uh, clay mold appliques, but I wanted to be able to finish this video today, so I didn't want to have to wait on that to dry overnight. Now I'm just continuing to add appliques until I, I like the look. And with this one, I just kind of wrapped it around the edges and it, it worked out really well. And both of these birdhouses could be hung with the handle. So um, I think they both work really well for a birdhouse. And then obviously I'm gonna seal this one as well and uh, just with a couple of coats of clear coat. And again, I used the Rust-Oleum Matte Finish, but any clear coat will work. Uh, you just wanna really protect this chalk paint because until you put a, a protective layer on it, then, uh, then it'll stain easily and also the paint will remove. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. God bless you and your family.